Hey guys, today's tutorial is inspired by Mr. Carl Fredrickson from Disney's Up. Hope you'll enjoy. As always, I made a sketch of the character and then made an armature to match. The armature was made the same way as in my Cop Sprite tutorial, so if you haven't seen that, you'll find the link in the info box. Then take a light flesh color and begin sculpting the face. If you have any questions for the tools and materials I use, please check out the two basics videos I posted. I'll be linking both of those in the info box. And I'll also be adding links to the other character dolls I've made. A tip when sculpting someone with glasses, at least if you're not used to seeing the person without the glasses, is to just make a simple pair of glasses from some paper or cardstock, just to visualize the character a bit better. And when sculpting elderly people, I like adding some texture to the skin just to make it look less perfect or more rough, so for this I'm using a soft toothbrush. Thank you. 
After pre-baking the face, I added clay to the back of the head and stuck a needle tool through it, then sculpted his ears and added those. For his hands, I used the same technique as in my Caroline tutorial, so if you haven't seen that, please check it out. And then after pre-baking them, I added clay to the back and added some extra details. Add them to the armature and wrap some clay around the torso, then pre-bake and make the feet. For the shading, I first used my pan pastels and applied these with a sponge applicator, then added some additional shading using soft pastels mixed with water. I'm just using a couple of flesh tones, some pinks, a light brown and a grey. Seal with a matte glaze and let dry. Add the head to the armature and use a pencil to make an outline for the hairline. Then add some hair all around the head, but not on top. At this point he's going to look very much like a mad scientist, kind of reminds me of Doc Brown from Back to the Future. Once the glue is dry, you can trim the hair and style it using some watered down craft glue. Then add some hair to the top of his head, and while the glue was drying, I started working on the outfit. I painted his shoes using brown acrylic paint and made a simple pair of glasses from scrap clay.
For the shirt, I just took some basic white fabric and glued a piece to his chest. I also glued some around his wrists to make the cuffs that are showing under his jacket. For his pants, I cut two rectangles of some greyish brown fabric and glued these together to form some tubes, then glued these onto the doll. Same for the sleeves, form a couple of tubes, cut some slits and glue them onto the doll. And then for the belt, I just used a piece of brown leather. I didn't show how to make the belt buckle because that was the very last thing I added, but if you check out my Santa Claus tutorial, I show how to make one in there. For his bow tie, I just cut a rectangle and glued a thin strip around the center. Add some hair to his eyebrows, let it dry and trim them. Then for some highlights, I just added some white acrylic paint. To make a super quick walking aid, I bent a couple of pieces of copper wire, then made four tennis balls from green scrap clay and baked those, glue them in place, and then make a square from some paper, glue the legs of the walking aid to the piece of paper, and then glue the stick or the handlebar thingy to the square as well. I then added the final details using acrylic paint and silver-colored alcohol ink.